Welcome back to Madison West Constant and Ones to Watch. In the last episode, we learned a thing or two about the Turnpike Troubadours and the people who gave them their start. Now we'll dig deeper into their personal journey and connect them with some of their biggest fans using Skype. We'll see you in there. Well, I won't lie and say I didn't think the good ones all were taken since there ain't no... We just had a group video call with some of the people who helped you out in the career. How was it to have a chat with them? When you're traveling, you don't get to see all your buddies enough anyway, so it's great to talk to those guys. Pretty fun doing uh, Skype style, getting to see them instead of just talking on the phone. If you guys weren't in a rock and roll band, what do you think you'd be doing? Uh, I guess I'd be teaching guitar. I've worked teaching kids just like Ryan, and uh, I've worked at Goodwill before. What about you? Though? I was a pharmacist. Ah, I'm pretty Ryan. popular. <laughs> <laughs> what was pivotal where you went, let's give up the day jobs, let's do this for real? A lot of it was gradual. Like, we just quit working less, started playing more. I think it was just a conscious effort, like, if we're going to do it, you got to do it. How do you deal with life on the road? Still learning, really. I wouldn't say we had it down yet, honestly. <laughs> well, maybe I should quit while I'm ahead. All right, guys, well, as we've said, you've gone from playing to one man and his dog to uh, having quite a lot of fans. We have one of your fans on the line right now. This is Jennifer. What do you want to ask the Turnpike Troubadours? What is the writing process like for you guys? On a good portion of them, I'll write sort of a skeleton of a song on an acoustic guitar, just lyrics and melody. And then we'll get together and flesh it out. Sometimes RC and I will write together. Sometimes it'll be based on a musical part that someone else has written. Cool. It was nice meeting you. Nice, nice to meet you. Too. A lot of your fans are on the move as well. We have Katie using her mobile. How do you come up with your album title? Um, Diamonds and Gasoline is just named after the song. And then uh, Goodbye Normal Street is actually a, a street that we lived on in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. It was kind of where we wrote a bunch of the songs. If you have the album, the, the picture on, on the CD is uh, the street sign on the corner there, and you can actually see the house behind it. Oh, is that what it is? It was anything but normal. I'm now going to hand you straight over to Kimberly. What is the weirdest thing you've ever bought when you've been on tour? Oh. We've ended up with some pretty ridiculous things. By we, I mean I. They yeah. used to approve my transactions at truck stops because we had of some of the them. stuff that I would bring into the van. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's really cute. <laughs> Thanks so much for your questions, Kimberly. All right, Turnpike Troubadours, you got to speak to some of the people from back home. You got to speak to some of your fans. See you at the show. We've had a great time here in Madison, and the Turnpike Troubadours gave us another chapter on what it takes to get real, honest, foot stomping music out into the world. We're off to find another great up and coming band. Don't forget to sign up for the Once to Watch music newsletter at onestowatch.com forward slash Skype. And we'll see you soon. Once to watch.